it is shark week, a time when so many of us become complete fanatics for all things sharks. But this year, one of the shark week stunts went horribly wrong. One of the guys from the Jackass TV show, Sean McAneary, was attempting to do a wakeboard jump over shark infested waters when he fell in. Now our lawyers are telling us that we must warn you, of course, do not try this at home. Take a look at how Sean described the terrifying moment. I think we went a little too slow. And I launched like four to five feet into the shark pit. And when I landed in that shark pit, I thought I was gonna die. There's like 10 sharks around me. I was trying to swim out. And I couldn't. Wow, and Sean's hand was completely mangled by the shark. There are photos, but they're absolutely too graphic to show you. We didn't want to show them on TV. What do you think of this? Um, do you think that this was jumping the shark? Really quick, Tori, describe what jumping the shark means. So jumping the shark is a phrase from Happy Days when Fonzie, at the very sort of end of the season, actually jumped or supposedly jumped a shark in his leather jacket. And it was so unrealistic. It's when a good show goes to be a bad show. So that's where you get jumping the shark. And it's when their viewership fell. People yeah, exactly. They were too ridiculous. Yeah, and, right. and this is what he was trying to reenact in the stunt. Can I say that this whole thing is too ridiculous? Like, I didn't watch this and say, Oh my God, I feel so bad for Sean. Like you decided to jump in shark infested water when they were hungry I'm and then your you hand that. got bit. And I just think, I know his show is, or the show, the TV show is all about that and about doing stunts. But like, if you're going to put a stunt that does put your life in danger, I'm sorry. I watch Jaws. I watch open water. And I know that's not a good representation of all sharks. I know you love animals, <laughs> <laughs> but that's, that's how I feel about the water. Jellyfish, anything under there, that's right. their house. If somebody walked up in my house, <laughs> then I'm attacking you. I'm glad so. you no, I'm glad you said that because you you know, a lot of people do demonize sharks, right? And speaking of which, there is Is that some... because they have three rows of sharp teeth? Hold on. <laughs> we'll get to that. So there is new research that's out that claims Hollywood's portrayal of the apex predator is painting the species in a negative light and making conser conservation efforts much more difficult. Of course, Hollywood's fascination with sharks all started to Lindsay's point with Jaws, but according to the research of the more than 100 shark films listed on IMDb, 96% of them portray interactions between sharks and humans as overtly threatening. Now, yes, they have rows of teeth, but <laughs> here's the thing about sharks. Sharks are not, when you look at the conservation efforts right now, because they're demonized, people don't care to conserve them. And a lot, and maybe not here, but in a lot of other regions, people eat shark fin soup, people abuse sharks. There's horrific footage of people fishing for sharks and then doing mean things to them and then taking their fins while they're still alive to make shark fin soup. And I only say this not to be like go to bummer town as you yes, would say. Yeah, we I say on the this bus. <laughs> choo, choo. I say this because conservation matters and when you demonize something people no longer care about that species. Right. This species I, is not an aggressive and species. Sam, I, I appreciate you saying that, but I think this could have been anything. To remove sharks could have been hyenas. Yeah. Remove it could have been sharks dogs. and make this a, 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 a like a canyon or a ravine that he was jumping. The reason that ever since the beginning of like Evil Knievel, people constantly push it. It was 10 buses. This year it's 15. This year it's 20 because Shark Week has constantly escalated and every year they need something to make you look. Now we have Tiffany Haddish. We have A-list right. celebrities attached to it. Yeah, yeah. Shark Week used to just be a, a documentary, week of random documentary sharks <laughs> on this network that no one had ever heard of and now you have people that are losing limbs because this network doesn't know how to make you look because all it is is just sharks. And quick But fact, they're not showing the right, that's the right. right footage of sharks. Uh, what, sh what footage would that be? Do you know how many times you can watch, like on, uh, I can't think of the exact channel on YouTube where you have, um, divers that go in and they interact with sharks and they may obviously they're not going to go when they're in a feeding frenzy that's right. different when when a shark is in a feeding frenzy to Lindsay's point like that's their dinner time that's their dining room you are putting yourself in harm's way yeah. that's their home and that would be with a pack of dogs that would be the same with hyenas that would be the same with any animal that's in their home eating. Yes, but and, and when you see scuba divers that know what they're doing, they're very, sharks are not yeah, confrontational. People don't want to look at that, Sam. People don't want to see scuba divers casually swimming around like there is a Sunday morning. Well, it's too bad. That that's the, tr that's the truth. Sorry. Sorry, that's the truth. Cows, horses, and deer kill more people a year than sharks. But either way, I'm not going up to pet a cow, a horse, or a deer. <laughs> I'm just going to be a in. Horse? You wouldn't pet no, a horse? I, I actually let go of the reins of a horse when I was younger, and it went galloping away, and I was <laughs> very traumatized. So that's animals have their own space in this world, people <laughs>
people have their own space. But you yeah. respect animal spaces. Some people don't. How many times have we covered individuals oh, on God. the show that go right up to a moose? But and you, then they you know what this makes me think about, Sam, really quickly? I want to cut you off. There's that saying that a lot of people have wrestled alligators, but no one's done it when somebody wasn't watching. The reason that people do these things, whether it's the animal enclosures or swimming in shark infested waters, is because people look. When it's people interacting as Sam wants to watch, there's a reason <laughs> you couldn't remember the name of that YouTube channel. <laughs> And you didn't either. I do. When, if it was, no, I if do it was care. popular, I don't I remember was, every YouTube channel that I watch, unfortunately. You watch nice shark yeah. videos well, on you know, YouTube. No, no one watches. You're so nice, Sam. I'm, Most people are not wired. They want to be entertained. They want to see thrills. That's I why they're. I want to see are... a poor seal being flung. Thank you very much. What? Flung? Yeah, you. By what? By sharks. The sharks don't fling seals. They have for sure, sure do. do. They for do. sure do. Not on purpose. And also, that's what not a slight thing. About? That's not true. Orcas really do. I'm not going to go there because it makes my heart hurt. But, yeah. Okay. Wow. I thought this that conversation was just, went uh, left. a series of sentence fragments. <laughs> I'm sorry, I don't want to make people's hearts hurt. If I painted the picture for you, Love trust Sam. me, you would be sad. Aww. All right, coming up on DBL. Don't